Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are gathered this morning on the third Sunday of Easter. In our solemn prayers, let us include the intentions of our Pope, all bishops and priests around the world. Prayer for guidance for our president, our community leaders, frontliners, and health experts who are in search of cure for COVID-19 disease. Prayer of thanksgiving for those who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries. Prayer for healing for those who are sick in their homes and in the hospitals, especially those who are suffering in the pandemic COVID-19 disease. Prayer for the repose of the souls of our departed loved ones, those who died in the pandemic COVID-19, and the souls in purgatory. Our Mass celebrant this morning is the parish priest of the Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage of Tondo, Reverend Father George Deloria Peligro, OAR. Please rise. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us wholeheartedly gather as one family to pray for physical healing, for spiritual reconciliation, and for world peace. Let us begin our celebration of the Holy Mass this Sunday with a personal act of recognition. Recognizing the singular beauty of our Easter liturgy, just like the first disciples of our Lord in our scriptural readings today, who invite us to do three things, contemplating, witnessing, and sharing. The disciples constantly reflected on the great mystery of our faith, that Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. But first, brothers and sisters, let us be sorry, let us recall to mind our personal sins against God, against others, and against ourselves. Let us ask the Lord for pardon and peace. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Oh, 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 oh,
Exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The greatest proof that He is indeed the Messiah of God is His resurrection from the dead. It is the core and the foundation of our faith. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are Israelites, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked to him in your midst as yourselves know. This man delivered up by the set plan and for knowledge of God he killed using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the truth of death because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says to him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad and my tongue has exalted. My flesh too will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God has shown to an oath to him, that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and he spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the narrow road, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he received the promise of the Holy Spirit from the Father and put him forth as you see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you will show us the path of life. Lord, you will show us the path of life. Keep me, O God, for you in I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold past my lot. Lord, you will show us the path of life. I bless the Lord who counsels me, even the night in my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me, with him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Lord, you will show us the path of life. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one 
to undergo corruption. Lord, you will show us the path of life. You will show me the path to life, abounding joy in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Lord, you will show us the path of life. Our Christian faith and hope rest on Jesus, who died and rose from the dead. With such a solid foundation, we have no reason to be discouraged. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you invoke as Father, Him who judges impartially according to each one's works, Conduct yourselves with reverence during the time of your sojourning, realizing that you were ransomed from your futile conduct, handed on by your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a spotless, unblemished lamb. He was known before the foundation of the world, but revealed in the final time for you. Who through him believe in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all rise. Jesus, open the scriptures to us. Make our hearts burn while you speak to us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus, the Nazarene, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. 
Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then the beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther. But they urged him, stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them and it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, were not our hearts burning within us? while well, he spoke to us on the way and opened the scriptures to us. So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of bread. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters, those of us who are near and those who are far. In behalf of our parish here in Tondo, Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage. First of all, we would like to extend our Easter greetings of joy and peace to everyone, those who are inside the church and those who are following, following us via this live stream. Brothers and sisters, allow me to use just three words to guide us in our sharing and our reflection this Sunday. The first is the word contemplation. I'm sure you understand what contemplation means, what it signifies, and with what it implies to us, Christian disciples of our Lord. Brothers and sisters, contemplation allows us to recall the experience of the first disciples we have heard in the readings today. Remember that the first apostles, after they have seen the Lord again, who has risen from the dead, continued to contemplate, reflect, and meditate on this essential content of our faith, contemplating on the resurrection of our Lord. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Contemplation, brothers and sisters, allows us to discover and rediscover the meaning of this mystery in our life. In our first reading, we always hear the actions, the accomplishments of the apostles 
who were constantly proclaiming to the people the victory of Jesus Christ who has conquered death. But you see, it's by way of contemplation that each one of us can understand and appreciate why Jesus is risen from the dead. Unless we constantly contemplate in prayer, in our meditations, the, the fruits of the gift of re resurrection will not bring us to that recognition and realization of the victory of our Lord. First word is contemplation and just like the first disciples, let us allow ourselves enough time, sufficient time to be silent, to be in solitude, to be able to contemplate the unfathomable mystery of Christ being raised from the dead. In our gospel today, these two disciples were walking away from Jerusalem amidst hopelessness, confusion. Nothing is left for them, only to encounter again our Lord along the way while they were conversing and debating. So when we contemplate it's where we discover and rediscover God in our life. Second word is witnessing. Our readings, our gospel always make us recall the many apparitions of our Lord and the many witnesses who have told their testimonies about the Lord who is victorious over death. And just like the first disciples, today we are called, we are empowered, we are given this gift to become modern witnesses of our faith, of this resurrection of our Lord. When you become a witness, you have courage. When you become a witness, your fears are dissipated. When you become a witness, you are strong because God is always with you. You're a witness of a God who never abandons his people. You know, resurrection is a proof of the completion of the promise of God. God promised, I will not abandon you. And because of this resurrection, he has fulfilled his promise. And let us be witnesses of this truth. The third is sharing. After contemplating, after witnessing, we are challenged to share this good news everywhere, all the time. You know, we have to share because unless we share, many people out there won't have the chance to know the Lord, to come to the Lord, to be with Him like us. Hopefully, this Easter time, there is more of sharing that goes on everywhere. And what are we to share? Let's go back to Easter Vigil when the priest raised the candle, Paschal candle. This is Christ, our light. That's our mission, to share the light of Christ. And as I always share the word light, let us share this light by becoming these five letters in the word light. L, 
I G H T. L stands for be lovable, not just loving. Like our Lord. He is always loving, doing many things. But more than loving, He is always lovable. He is lovable, that's why we come to Him. When you are loving, it's you who is acting always. When you are lovable, people just come to you because they love you. I stands for be inspiring, not just be inspired. Many of us, if not all of us, are always inspired. That's why we have so much energy to do things. But at the end, it's not just about being inspired, but being inspiring. When you are inspired, you do things. When you are inspiring, others do things for you. And so it's you and many others. Just like our Lord. Letter G stands for be giving, not just generous. A person is generous as long as he has something to give. I am generous because I have extras. But a person who is giving, even if he has little things in him, he is still capable of surrendering these things. Like our Lord, he is not generous, but he is always giving. Letter H stands for be happy, not just hopeful. It's good to be full of hope, especially during these times. We have to share hope everywhere, especially to those who are afraid, those who are lost, those who are confused. But let's stop for a while. If you are just hopeful, and you are never happy, it's not yet the end. It's good to have that joy and happiness in you. That's why be happy, not just hopeful. And the last letter, letter T, be trusting and not just thankful. Of course, it's good to be thankful. It's good to always fill our hearts with gratitude but open your hearts to the Lord because as long as you trust in God, then there is always light in our life. I thank all of you who are here attending our Sunday Mass. I also greet and thank those who are following us via live stream thanks to the presidential uh, communications operations for doing this in our beautiful church in Tondo, Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage. And of course, Happy Easter to all those who are following us and uh, may God uh, always uh, manifest His presence among us. Amen. Please rise. Together, let us profess our faith. We believe I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, 
he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us put our petitions to the loving Father who accompanies us in our journey. With Jesus, let us address him as we pray. Father, give strength to your people. Father, give strength to your people. Father, bless our church and civil leaders that they may not tire of serving you in your people, especially the poor, the outcast, and those who have no voice in society. We pray. Father, Father give strength to your people. Father, be with those who are burdened with doubt and discouragement, and those who are undergo crisis, we pray. Father, give strength to your people. Father, bless our efforts and the work of our hands. Protect us from all harm. Give us plentiful harvest and guide those who travel by air, land, and sea. We pray. Father, Father give strength to your people. Father, in the evening of our life, when our days are coming to a close, comfort us with your merciful love. Look not on our sins, but remember your fatherly care for us. We pray. Father, give strength to your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. Ama namin mapagmahal, lumalapit kami sa iyo sa aming pangangailangan upang hilingin kami ay ipagadya mo sa sakit na dulot ng 2019 and coronavirus na kumitil sa maraming buhay at patuloy na kumakalat sa iba't ibang bayan at bansa. Inihiling namin ang iyong biyaya sa lahat ng mga nag-aaral ng uri at pinagmulan ng salot na ito. Patnubayan mo ang lahat ng dalubhasa sa medisina na tumutulong sa mga may sakit upang sila ay mapuno ng matibay na pagmamalasakit at pagdamay. Ipinapanalangin namin ang mga pamahalaan na naghahanap ng lunas at kagalingan para sa mga pinahihirapan ng sakit dulot ng salot na ito. Ipinagkakatiwala namin sa iyo ang lahat ng nagdurusa dahil sa sakit na ito, pagalingin mo sila at bigyan ng mabuting kalusugan. Ukawin mo ang aming kalooban upang maging handa kaming tulungan ang mga may sakit at nangangailangan. Inihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Yeso Cristo ang anak mo na nabubuhay at nagaharing kasama mo at ng Espiritu Santo, Diyos magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Maria, mapagampon sa mga Kristiyano, ipanalangin mo kami. San Rafael Arcangel, ipanalangin mo kami. San Roque, ipanalangin mo kami. San Lorenzo Ruiz, ipanalangin mo kami. San Pedro Kalungsod, ipanalangin mo kami. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Strengthen us in this table fellowship as Christ once did to his disciples at Emmaus. This we ask to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please rise. Three brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray but send down your spirit upon them like the true fault so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Brothers and sisters, we now proclaim the mystery of faith.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, with Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. Augustine, St. Ezekiel, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please rise. Inspired by the disciples, we have heard in our gospel today who recognize the Lord. Let us now call to our Father in heaven as we pray in the words our Lord taught us. Lord, we pray from every evil, gracefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our risen Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We now give each other the peace of Christ. Take away the 
Brothers and sisters, behold now the Lamb of God, the risen Lord, our Savior, whose gift of presence was recognized by His disciples at the breaking of the bread. Happy are those who are now called to His sacred banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Everyone is advised to receive the Holy Communion by the hand and practice social distancing. Thank you.
Let us pray. Please all rise. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant that we pray that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Magsiluhod po ang lahat para sa panalangin ng Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage para sa taong 2021. Panalangin ng Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage tungong 2021. Diyos namin Ama, Ikaw ay Diyos namin kinikilala na nag-iisang bukal ng lahat ng kaganapan at kaligtasan. Kami ay nananalangin upang kauspusong magpasalamat sa ipinagkaloob na iwanag at karunungan, alang-alang sa ipinatag mong simbahan dito sa Lepan, isang parokya sa tundo, Kristiyano at Katoliko, kamala ng aming bansang Pilipinas, na nagliliwang ngayon na ipagkalimang taan na taon ng Kristiyanismo, sama-sama namin pangangalagaan ang simbahan na ito, kung saan sa liturgia, kami ay tumatanggap araw-araw ng iyong biyaya at mga banal sa sakramento sa loob ng limang buong taon. Ayamanin ko kami sa pananampalataya, pag-asa at pag-ibig ayon sa kalooban mo. Pagbukulay mo ang mga pamilya namin tungo sa Golden Foundation Anniversary ay kalabing aming ng Marso 2021. Sa tulong at gabay ng mahal namin patrona, Bihen ng kapayapaan at mabuting paglalakbay kasama ang mga banal na sina San Pablo VI, San Juan Pablo II, San Agustin, San Ezequiel Moreno, San Lorenzo Luis, at San Pedro Caluzon. Tobin mo kami na huwag itumugon araw-araw sa iyong paanyaya at panawagan upang kami naman ay maging banal. Hinihiling namin ang lahat ng ito sa pamamagitan ng Yesu Cristo, kasama ng Espiritu Santo, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Ang Panginoong Diyos ay sumasayo. Kapag kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman ang iyong anak na si Yesus. Maria, Ina ng Diyos, panalangin mo kami ang kasalanan. Ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. Walhati sa Ama at sa Anak at sa Espiritu Santo. Para noong una-una, ngayon at magpakailanman, at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Pirhen ng kapayapaan at mabuting paglalakbay. Ipanalangin mo kami. Magsitayo po ang lahat. Mga kapatid, yung panalangin po natin ngayon, yung prayer 2021 ay yung ating offering alay sa mahal na birhen at sa ating Panginoon. Dahil po, next year, come 2021, starting March hanggang uh, May, isa-celebrate po natin yung ating Golden Paris Foundation Anniversary dito sa ating parokya sa Delpan, Tondo. Kaya every Sunday, every day, yun po yung ating prayer for success. At sana gabayan tayo at tulungan tayo araw-araw sa pamagitan ng ating panalangin. Tulungan tayo ng ating mahal na birhen at ng ating Panginoon. Bago po ang final blessing, muli kong pasasalamatan po yung ating mga partners sa live stream. Yung Recoletos Communication Center yung province of St. Ezekiel Moreno, San Nicolas de Tolentino, Mary, Mother of God, at syempre po maraming salamat sa Presidential Communications Operations Office ng Radio Television Malacanya. Sa inyong lahat sa iilan na sa simbahan ngayon para sa ating banal na misa. Thank you very much po. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you and your families the father the son and the holy spirit amen go in peace 
Our mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Oh, God. 